right. First one up that's an interesting one making a move is AccuVision. What's going on here, Dennis? You know anything why this is up today? No, actually, this one, this is nice to come into this segment so we can see what is actually mm, moving. I have right. not looked. It's got to be some, you know, something with the there deal. It has I would to be assume. something. I didn't catch this Let's earlier. Let's go see so. what the news here is on ATVI because it's definitely news. UK CMA provisionally concluded that anticipated acquisition by Microsoft actors will not result in a substantial lessening of competition. So the UK mm. looks like they will approve the deal. Now, again, this uh -oh. is when the deal is done, but it means it gets closer. We know that 95 is it 95 is the price that's on the table I here for Microsoft. I believe so there's still another so. 11 bucks there. Still some concern, but this sounds more like, oh, maybe, you know, this deal does get done at 95. So that's why ATVI is trading higher. Interesting to see that. We'll find out what happens in that deal. Of course, they still need to go through regulators here, but. Not, not a bad move there. Nice spike. It got up to a high of 86.03 today. So might be in play today. We'll find out what happens there. Uh, let's keep going. Of course, one thing that I do see here is drip. Drip is the leverage play to the bear side for oil. Just want to mention the oil news, of course. Uh, at least oil has been sure. edging lower after Thursday's comments that they wouldn't refill the strategic petroleum reserves. And it... This was stated by the energy secretary, uh, Jennifer Goldham, and she also stated that it might take several years to fill that back up. What do you think about that, Dennis, and the oil trade? Uh, it's all oil is moving is with the with the banks overall here. Again, mm -hmm. it's if I've actually been starting to pair trade XLE with IWM, believe it or not. Um, wow. have to, yeah, because right now. It's just um, moving, again, lots of debt in these companies. Banking crisis hits oil for sure. So there's a positive correlation between the banks and oil. It's not going to move as much at the banks, but you know what oil needs is stabilization in the banks. I know as people are say you're nuts. It's nothing to do with it. It has everything to do with it. They borrow a lot of money from the banks. Oils are oil companies are heavily indebted. They don't want capital crunch. If we get in a banking crisis, capital, and it obviously gets tighter there, and you know credit sorry credit gets tighter there so there is definitely a correlation there with oil and the banks all right i'm seeing gdx here that'll be like kind of the last comment the gold trade do you think this trade can continue the yes. gold one yes i do yeah. i think i'm a gold bug here right now again buying pullbacks not buying reps yeah, so of course you get a pullback here you got a pullback three days ago i think gold continues higher here it's the safety trade it's the bitcoin bitcoin and gold moving here together i think bitcoin can continue higher here too the banking crisis worsens is probably good for bitcoin it's probably good for gold and i do predict that the bank crisis is going to worsen well um uh, you boil traders i will say it again man <laughs> I'm not, I'm not betting that uh, natural gas is coming back, um, but also getting hit big today, JKS here. Of course, the China solar name. Um, do you think that the solar trade could turn around, especially if the energy trade turns around? Yeah, I mean, solar has always had a positive correlation with oil. It's the alternative oil. energy, but as oil prices go up, you know, relatively speaking, the solar becomes cheaper, which can obviously move the prices up as well. So there's always a loose correlation there with oil actually positively correlated with solar. I'm not buying any Chinese companies. I Again, I maybe I should have been because they're starting to look and they're starting to look better, but I'm just concerned with the geopolitical risk. Again, you can see what I, I avoid things when I can't quantify the risk. I'm exactly. a risk reward trader. I look at risk first and then look at the return and extrapolate whether I can trade it from there. If I can't quantify the risk, the trade idea stops right there. I can't quantify the agree. risk on China stocks. I can't quantify the risk on banks, which means if I'm going to trade them, they've got to be hedged. I'm not taking directional bets when I can't quantify the risk. I love it. Love it there. And uh, just to kind of mention, uh, still short on the Chevron and that's going lower here. We'll look. I look nice for the match. gap fill. The gap filled already. Perfect yesterday. timing on that short too, buddy. Um, yeah. I'm just trying to be, you know what it was, Dennis, is that I actually remember I played it here on the down move, sold that down move, and then was looking for the bounce to get back into the name. Something that I feel like this market is giving us a lot of opportunities on. It's like, is, it, this isn't the sell the rip, but in this case, more like, you know, uh, sell the down move, right? Cover the down move and then look for the bounce to get reshort. That's been working out for me because I just feel like this market is so chop chop. Even when you get that first swing down, you get, a lot of times you're getting these bounces back up. So just be careful out there. 
Um, we'll see what happens on the oil trade. And just to give the last one that I have there, full disclosure, I also have XOM, Exxon Mobil, 105.79, was able to take some profit yesterday. Going to look for this to continue down and maybe even getting into the double digits. We'll find out. Big part for me is just watching the XLE. Do we crack through this 75.36 low? If that continues to crack, now I really start seeing XLE like it's really starting to look broken. We'll find out what happens in the oil trade. All right, that's going to probably do it for me here on what the- What was down big here? Uh, you could see also- JKS, just- coin, we know the coin. It's just oil, continuation. Coin, coin showing up. Yeah, coin's down again wow. here. This is continuation wow. from the Wells. Um, mm-hmm, from the Wells report. Um, yeah. Just to mention, Kathy did buy some more, but we won't get into that conversation. Uh, Boeing we'll showing up here. Earth. Boeing and Caterpillar. So oh, that Boeing industrial and Caterpillar is kind trade. of moving with the overall market here too. Remember, mm-hmm. we just rallied. Sometimes the stocks have a tick higher here too. So yeah. Berkby, Adobe, these are all just market moves here that are moving these things. And we'll okay. see if the industrial trade actually turns around, right? It has been pulling back. We'll keep an eye on it. Like always, you guys can check out the extensive yeah, inventory sure. of short locates through Trade Zero. I'll give you guys the link right here and we'll wrap up. Any last comments for you, Dennis, before we get Caution, to the Caution selling into strength. So we will get more reps. We will get more rallies. We will have more hope. And I think those are selling opportunities. That is just my opinion. All right. That's going to do it for us. Have a good day, Dennis. We'll bring you back on like always and have a good weekend. Hope the family gets all nice and healthy. This oh, weekend. man, we've been fighting. Shout Food out bugs, to you guys. COVID, fighting everything over here. So prayer for get my man, Dennis's family. Thank you. Getting we healthy. need to get healthy. Definitely. I, I'm, I'm ruining it for you, Dennis. Have a good trading day. Go Thanks, do what you do Thanks. best, my friend. All right, Dennis is getting into his trading action. You guys keep up with all the action right here, of course, on uh, Benzinga. We got live trading coming up next. We're going to keep going into some other action. And, of course, Trade Zero sponsoring us today. So give them a shout out. Check them out. Threw up the link there. You guys can always check out Trade Zero for some extensive inventory on short locates. And check out their Trade Zero flag.